Also, are we cool with this just being the new hair? Because I'm cool with it. I don't, I can't. Like, I cannot even. We're just gonna always be curled. Because, like, I, I literally see this as I wake up in the morning and I get free curls. That's how it feels. I'm just saying. Good morning, happy Vlogmas day six. Today has been a little out of routine because of course, right when I start filming, this girl's getting up on the couch. I think she hears a dog outside, but it's been a little out of routine today because little Miss Lulu right here was a basket case today. <laughs> she was literally just constantly, like even when she was sitting in her bed, she was like leaning back and looking at us and just mm, 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 just like crying crying constantly and it's because we have not had a trip to the DOG PARK in days and it's because somebody has been sick for like 11 days okay and uh I don't know if you guys have, have uh noticed but Zach and I are kind of a package deal so I'm not going to the dog park unless I got my man with me and he was willing to take us to the dog park today even though he watched from afar didn't want to get anybody sick but we went to the dog park and Lulu had a grand old time I'm so glad we got to do that today because oh my god this girl like she seriously needs to do that like every single day if she doesn't get exercise out she will do what she did today she literally just sits there and cries and like basically screams at us um so that's that's what we did um, and I'm a little out of routine so I woke up got everybody fed Lulu fed specifically and had some water and had my celery juice but that's pretty much all I've done so I still need to start my whole morning I'm gonna make some coffee but I don't know about you guys if I wait too long to have my coffee in the morning and it gets into like almost like mid morning midday I'm an iced coffee girl so I think I'm gonna do an iced coffee for my morning coffee I'm also gonna make my first fueling I'm gonna have my golden chocolate chip pancake and it is also day two of our kickstart challenge so I'm gonna be tracking on my revive tribe tracker we're gonna have a grand old time um it's gonna involve lots of um fuelings proteins and uh probably a lot of laundry today get excited it's gonna be really fun um so I think I am going to take a trip over to the laundry station and get our sheets done they are not looking too hot. So we're gonna do that. Um, I have a couple other things that I want to get done for some of our decor in our camper today. We'll see if I have time for that, stay tuned. Um, but we're gonna get this show on the road. I'm so excited to hang out with you guys for Vlogmas Day 6. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my first fueling going. Also, just really quick for anybody who is new here, hey, how are ya? My name is Ashley. I'm in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series, originally going through the weight loss component of my Optivia 5 and one plan. I've since transitioned over into my Optivia 4 and 2 active plan, but any and all content you're going to find here on my channel can be applied to any Optivia plan you're currently following or looking into. If you don't know anything about Optivia, I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. Basics of the introductory 5 and 1 plan is you're consuming 5 fuelings a day and 1 lean and green meal a day. Fuelings are sent to you in your monthly box and the lean and green you prepare from home. During Vlogmas this year, every video you're going to see, you're also going to be seeing what I eat in a day on my current four and two plan. So I'm consuming four fuelings a day and two lean and green meals a day, plus my optional snack, which is that four, two, and one. And usually my optional snack is actually my Optivia Active EAAs. So you guys will kind of see how all of that fits into my day. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, welcome to another episode of my Shalee's Health Journey series. <laughs> fueling number one we've already had six greens and we've already had a little bit of water but now I need some coffee and now I need a pancake so let's get going officially going to start our first Christmas activity of the day. So get ready, hold on to your seat. Um, I have been on the hunt 
for the right ornaments to add to our tree this year. And I really wanted to make sure that I could get one ornament just to kind of document Lulu because this was our first year with Lulu. And technically the tree was up last year when we got her, but we actually got her like literally it was New Year's Day. Wasn't it like New Year's Day? I think it was like New Year's Day when we got her. So it didn't really make sense to get an ornament that year because we got her like after Christmas. So that being said, I was like, we need to document like Lulu's first year with us, right? And I searched and scoured Amazon and the web, Etsy, just trying to find the right boxer ornament and none of them really spoke to me or if they did they were like $50 and I was like I'm not spending that on just an ornament for Lulu like I love you babe but like I don't know if that makes sense. So I've been trying to figure out what the right move was for this and I settled on just getting a little like picture frame ornament. I found this one at Target. It says 2023 on the bottom and it's just like a white frame. It's a little sparkly on the outside and there's a place for a picture and I was like you know what if I can't find the cutest boxer ornament I will just put my boxer on the ornament you know um so that's kind of what i'm thinking for this and then i also wanted to make sure that we could document rv life initiated this year um that needed to be like a cute little ornament on our tree like documenting that we officially bought the rv this year and we moved into rv life and all that fun stuff so scoured the internet for the perfect rv ornament and didn't like any of them honestly none of them looked like ours and none of them were cute enough to like put on my tree that would go with my decor and they were all like thirty dollars i'm not gonna spend thirty dollars on something I don't even like. So this was my compromise on that. I found this one at Target too. It's kind of like a little postcard. You see, it's like a postcard ornament. It's a little heavy. It's like ceramic, but it has a little space for a photo. So we've got two photo ornaments that I'm hoping are going to do the trick this year. I'm like, you know, if I can't find the perfect ornament, I'm just going to put a picture that I like on it. And I'm thinking we could put one right here of us in our new baby here. And then also one right here of Lulu. So my Walgreens order is ready. I just, I love that Walgreens does that. I placed a quick like same day photo printing order and it literally happened within like an hour. Um, so I'm going to go pick that up. Plus, Mr. Zach over here needs some more cough drops, so that's gonna be on the list for today. But I wanna see if we can get these to look really cute. I feel like this is gonna be the perfect way to like kind of make our tree our own this year and just really document what changed this year because looking back on this year, you guys, oh my God, so much has changed in our life so fast. And I feel like if we don't get ornaments, how are we gonna remember, you know? So I, uh, I'm gonna go run to Walgreens really quick. I'm gonna take you guys with me and uh, we're gonna see if this project comes to fruition. Also totally spaced. I brought this out because I was going to show you guys I'm going to have my next fueling. I'm going to have a chocolate mint crisp bar. Also pro tip, if you have not tried this in the refrigerator or even the freezer, you need to. It's like kind of like thin mints. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't do that because I'm not ahead of the game, but uh, we're going to have a chocolate mint crisp. Let's go to Walgreens. Okay, we're here. Zach needs more pro lozenges. Also, can we just talk about how these are $3 more at Walgreens? $3 cheaper at Target. But you're worth it, babe. Thank you so much. Perfect. Okay, what do we got? Cute. Okay, so I really haven't decided, which I won't be able to get your guys' feedback in this video unless I completely change my mind later on. But for one, the Lulu picture is going to be like the announcement picture we did with her. Like when we first got Lulu, I feel like we need just like her ultimate puppy pick, like right when we got her. She's so stick and cute. Oh my gosh. But as far as the RV picture, I really can't decide. So this is my favorite picture of us. Like that's my favorite picture in the RV, but like you can't really tell it's an RV because we're inside of it you know so have that one just in case and he's like holding the key and it's very cute but these are the ones of like actually in front of it and i don't know how much you're actually gonna like see on the ornament so like i don't know if that's gonna really work or we have this one i think this one's really cute of us like you know kissing in front of our new home so cute so anyway i'm gonna have to see which one of these makes sense but honestly this is definitely my favorite it just it doesn't really make sense because it's inside i don't know they were so cheap and there was actually a deal going so it was like even cheaper and i was like i'll just print all of them and see what we like but uh i'll show you guys when i assemble these are so cute look at my little baby all right guys, back home. We're gonna stop putting it off. Time to do the laundry. We can do this.
while the laundry is drying, I am gonna go ahead and have some lean. This is six ounces of that meat that I had yesterday, six ounces and 96% ground beef with a healthy fat, which is gonna be my chili crunch oil. I did a teaspoon and a half, love that stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and scarf this down, get a couple things done, and then probably go check on the laundry. It's a whole ordeal when you have laundry day, like it really is. We're uh, hoping that it all gets dry in one shot because there was only one dryer available, but uh, I might have to go add some more tokens, so we'll see. Okay, ornament update. I think I've picked the picture that I want, but first of all, we all knew this was gonna be the Lulu picture, and oh my gosh, is that not the cutest, cutest little baby you've ever seen? Oh my gosh. So this is the 2023 ornament. It says 2023 down at the bottom. And then this is like kind of like a sparkly white around the sides. It's almost like sandy. I don't know. Anyway, cute. And I feel like that's going to be perfect for Lulu's commemorative, you know, little baby ornament. So that's cute. I also don't really like these little things that they come with. I might put like a hook on there, but I'm kind of running low on hooks. So anyway, we'll see what we do with that. That's Lulu's. Okay. This was the big decision. So this is the postcard it says Merry Christmas. Cause you know, postcard from wherever the heck we are. I don't We've lived in so many places in the last three years. I don't even know. So that's why I liked this one. I thought it'd be cool for like, obviously travel commemorative, but this is the only one that fit like us looking at the camera and the actual camper is kind of what I was thinking. I think that's cute, but like you can't actually see our faces unless you look like really close. I was highly, highly considering this one cause this is definitely my favorite one. And we are like holding keys and stuff, but like you don't know that it's a camper, you know? So anyway, this is the one that I'm thinking. Zach, can you come tell me what you think? What do you think of this picture? Yeah. I mean, I really like this one, but like no, you really I, can't tell. You can't tell it. That could be an Airbnb. That could be an Airbnb. That could be a house. Nobody knows. But this is like, and this was like, this was like the first picture we took. Yeah. The very first one. That's good. And it says connect in there. Like you can kind of see what camper it is. Yeah. Cute. Okay. The only other one I had was this, but like, I'd like if we were like looking at the photo, you know? Okay. I think that's the winner. Let's go put them on the tree. Okay. So we haven't really gotten to do like a full decor tour anyways. I mean, I know you guys have kind of like seen it in the videos, but I haven't really gotten to like show you what we did in the camper because this was like kind of a big deal. I had no idea how we were going to get a tree in this thing. And when I started talking to other RVers, they were like tall and skinny, tall and skinny. Okay, so that's what we went with this year. This tree was like super cheap. There was a day at Target where trees were like half off. I think they were like 60% off. This was like, I think 50 bucks or something. So anyway, really good price for a tree for our RV. So just so you know, our whole time traveling, no matter what, we have still kept with us our keepsake ornaments for our tree. And we've pretty much bought a new tree every year because we pretty much had to like always get rid of it after we decorated it because we were traveling. But that was another big reason why we really wanted to do RV life is like we could buy things and like keep them. <laughs> so because we're in the RV now, hopefully this will be our last tree for a little bit. But that was one of the things that we always kept with us was keepsake ornaments. So that's why I was excited to get these ones on the tree this year because we really do hold those dear and we make sure that those go with us everywhere we go. So we have keepsake ornaments and then we have like some of the just regular like red and silver and white. This was like, I believe the first year we started Adventures from A to Z with the little like movable magnet heart. You could like move it wherever you were going to be. I think the first year we got it, we were in Texas. We were down there, but yeah, now we're in Florida. So the heart goes right there. We've got all of the red and silver and white. Love these little pine cones that like add a difference. I'm trying to see. This one was also this year. That one was really cute. I wanted to get a, some sort of a truck ornament just because we got a new truck this year. That was a whole ordeal. Oh my God. And of course we would not be A to Z if we did not have a Thor ornament for my man who pretty much looks like Thor. Love that. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I found this one this year. It's basically a dash mini waffle maker. Like how freaking cute. You guys can't see, it's not really focusing, but like they have this at Target and I was like, I have to have that. That's like made for me. Basically a little mini waffle maker. Love that. And then here's Lulu. We got Miss Lulu's ornament down here. She's such a cutie. And then some of our favorite movies. We were on like a Jurassic Park kick for a while. And then up here we have the commemorative RV life ornament. So 
so I think that's gonna be perfect right there. This was actually really heavy. I had to keep the red thing on there, but still fits right in this little spot. And yeah, I mean, we've got some other ornaments on there, but those are like the most fun and the ones that we've kind of like carried with us everywhere. So yeah, that's the tree. We've pretty much bought a new star every time too. And then this year we did the collar. We did the tree collar instead of the tree skirt. Cause I was like, that skirt is gonna get so nasty in the RV. I was like, let's just do a collar. And I think that's really cute. Then over here, we've got the fireplace. I found this little garland at Target this year. Super cute, the little puff balls. And I had this vision. I was like, we're gonna do the garland and we're gonna hang the stockings on the garland so that I don't have to like actually hang anything on the actual wood. Always trying to not actually hang anything. You know what I mean? So we've got the garland with our little mini monogram stockings. I thought that was so cute. And then up above our nook, you guys have probably seen this a couple times now, but I was so excited to officially do the ribbon cabinets now that I have my own cabinets this year and they were so fun to do. I actually have like clips of it. I'm gonna post a reel at some point just showing how we did that, but like so fun. And I just was like, I'm doing this on every cabinet. I just found big ribbon at Target. And then this is a separate ribbon. These were separate that you could just like buy in a pack of 10 or something, but super cute. And then on the inside, you guys can see, we just taped. I mean, not like we actually like made a real bow. We just taped so that they would stay and it's been totally fine so far, so cute. I love how those turned out. And then actually right above on these cabinets too, above our little nook here, we have these four cabinets lined with our red ribbon. So cute. If you guys haven't tried the ribbon cabinet trend, do it this year. I'm just saying it's way easier than you think and it makes such a huge difference. Like look, it's just, it literally makes you feel like you did so much more decorating than you actually did because it's just like so eye grabbing, so cute. And then you guys have already seen, I have my little candle area with my mini wreath. This was actually hard to find. I can't believe how I couldn't find really any mini wreaths this year, but I finally found that one and I thought it was cute with the little holly berries, so. Anyway, that's our decor this year and I hadn't really gotten to share it with you guys. I wanted to actually do a video where I was decorating with you guys, but uh, I get so excited to do it that like I end up not filming it and I wasn't even sure if I was going to be doing vlogmas this year so that was like kind of a bust but if we do vlogmas next year I may or may not decorate with you okay and we'll make the decisions together I promise. I am so happy with our how our decor turned out I feel like it's minimal it's just enough and it's not like getting in the way we have to be really careful obviously with like such a small area and making sure that we don't like get too much but honestly those ribbon cabinets were like the coolest part and I feel like they make such a big difference in such a small space so yay I love our new little ornaments um I'll link what I can down below if you guys are still in the midst of decorating your place but uh i'm glad we finally have something for lulu and something to document the rv because those were like one of the biggest changes in our life this year and uh they needed their own little keepsake so Christmas dessert. Okay. Um, just to bring you guys up to speed, I did already have that second portion of my protein for the day. I just did six ounces of my air fryer chicken. That salt and pepper is going to count as a condiment that I used on that to season when we previously air fried it. And then I just added another one of those laughing cow pepper jack cheese wedges. Honestly, kind of makes like a cheesy sauce, a little bit of a kick. I kind of like it. So in the midst of me doing all of the like kitchen things that need to happen before the end of the night, I went ahead and prepped my cookie dough bites and I'm so excited to have them. Mainly because, like I said, I'm starting to really look forward to like a little Christmassy treat at the end of the night and this is tonight's. You guys already saw this. I made this like two days ago vlogmas and I mean obviously you guys have seen the process. I also have a full video on it but uh, should we just talk about how cute they are? Okay, I'm just saying. 
I am gonna have this for fueling number four. We're gonna move on to Santa Claus 3 and we're just gonna have a cozy night. So it was kind of a busy day and I feel like that's kind of what happens in this RV lifestyle. It's like I look back on my day and I think of everything that like, you know, I look back on my day and I think of like how busy I was and all the things that I was like trying to accomplish. And then you look back and you're like, I hardly accomplished anything. <laughs> It's just because everything takes 10 times longer than you think it's going to take. The sheets alone. How long did that take me? Probably. Let's do the math. I think it took me like three and a half, maybe four hours just to do my sheets. <laughs> and that wasn't even doing it in the camper. That was going to the actual laundry station. So, you know, that's kind of what happens. But when you look back and think of your day and what you accomplished, you think about how there's clean sheets on your bed. And is there ever anything better than going to bed in clean sheets? Just saying. That's gonna wrap us up for tonight, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me on Vlogmas Day 6. And I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for Vlogmas Day 7. I'll leave all of my calculations right here on the screen. If you guys are trying to keep track of where I'm at for my what I eat in a day, I'm so glad we got to hang out together and we're gonna hang out tomorrow. Hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your night and I will see you in the morning. Bye, guys.